Try this with us. Marla has 30 days to make three projects. How many days should she spend per project so she'll finish on time? Let D equals the number of days to finish per project. 3D is equal to 30. We divide both sides by 3. D is equal to 10. Marla should spend 10 days per project. What happened to you? You're not your usual self. I found a very powerful thing. And what is that? You wouldn't believe I can read your mind using this. Is that a lie detector? More powerful than that. Hey, are you some kind of a madame, Rosa? And where is your crystal ball? No, I'm not a fortune teller. I am talking about variables. Variables? variables? Yes. Variables are powerful. They represent unknown values. Would you like me to try and read your mind using this? Hmm, yes, that's interesting. Okay, no pens, no papers. Just use your mind and follow the things that I will tell you. Ready? Ready. Okay, let the variable represent an unknown number. And we will use it for a think of a number game. First, think of a number less than 10. Second, add 5 to the number you thought of. Then multiply the result by 2. Subtract 6 from the result. Then divide the result by 2. Lastly, subtract the number you initially thought of. Now I can tell you the result each of you got. So what are the results? All of you got the result of 2. That's amazing. Is there some kind of magic? No, there's no magic. I used a variable. I will show you how it works using algebraic expressions. Angela, please write this down. Let x be the number you thought of. Then, add 5 to it. It will be expressed as x plus 5. Multiply the result by 2. It will be expressed as 2 times the quantity of x plus 5. Good! Now subtract 6 from that expression. Then, divide the result by 2. The next step now is to subtract the number you initially thought of. This would give you 2 as a result. So what was the number you thought of? I thought of number 6. See? The number that the variable x represents, it is the number you initially thought of. Therefore, all numbers from 1 to 10 would lead to only one answer, 2. Yes, that's right. All those numbers from 1 to 10 are called the domain of the variable. It is a set of given numbers which the variables represent. In this case, your domain is a set of positive numbers less than 10. If you replace x with any number less than 10, like those numbers you thought of, it will still give you the same result, too. Hey, this game is amazing! So, did you enjoy the game? Sure, sure you did. did! Try this with us. Think of any number. Multiply the number by itself. Add thrice your number to the result. Then add 2 more. Divide the result by 1 more than your number. Then subtract 2. The result is the number you initially thought of. First, I thought of the number 5, which we will represent as x. Then, multiplying x by itself gives us x to the second power. Add thrice your number to the result. Then add 2 more. Divide the result by 1 more than the number. At this point, we will factor x squared plus 3x plus 2. The factors of this expression are quantity x plus 1 and quantity x plus 2. Then subtract 2. Very good, Joy. Your algebraic expressions are well presented. Algebraic expressions? Yes. Algebraic expressions are presented by one or more variables and other operations, just like what you did in the paper. You have more than one operation. There's addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. What if there's only one variable and one operation? That is called an algebraic expression. All those you've written are algebraic expressions. See, what you did is not magic. 
It is simply using algebraic expressions. Wait, I'm so tired of doing this. There are so many pairs of numbers to multiply. Not me. What? How come we work so fast? We're doing the same assignment, right? Okay, I'll tell you a secret, but promise me you won't tell this to anyone, okay? Okay. I can multiply pairs of numbers between 10 and 20 by using only this pen and a magic spell. A magic spell? Uh, just kidding. Of course there is a technique that I use. Can you tell it to me now? How? Alright. If you will multiply a pair of numbers between 10 and 20, like this, 12 times 14, draw a line to connect two digits, then multiply. So we have 2 times 4 equals 8. Write down 8. Then encircle the first number and the one's digit number of the second number and add them. So we have 12 plus 4 equals 16. Hence the product of 12 and 14 is 168. Here's another example. Sometimes you will need to carry. For example, 17 times 13, you'll need to add the number carried to the next two digits. But this can be explained using variables. How? We let the first number be represented by 10 plus x and the second by 10 plus y. The two numbers will be the two digit numbers between 10 and 20 where x and y are the unit's digit. If we multiply the expressions, we get 10 plus x times 10 plus y equals 100 plus 10x plus 10y plus xy. Grouping the first three, we get 100 plus 10x plus 10y. Factoring out the common factor 10, we get 10 times quantity 10 plus x plus y. Note that 10 plus x is the first number, and y is the unit's digit of the second number, and xy is the product of the unit digits. Thus, we multiply x and y and get xy. Then we add 10 plus x plus y. What about 16 multiplied by 14? Why don't you try it? Okay, so we have 16 times 14. Multiply 6 and 4, we have 24. Write 4 and carry 2. Then add 16 plus 4 plus 2. We have 22. Now you see the magic of mathematics. Come on, let's do some more pairs of numbers. I think I will have a great time with this. Try this with us.